Now here I'll mention just two more formulas and the first one is 10 inverse x1 plus 10 inverse x2 plus 10 inverse xn and it will be 10 inverse s1 minus s3 plus s5 with alternate plus minus sign and then 1 minus s2 plus s4 minus s6 where s1 is sum of values of x1, x2, x3, xn s2 is sum of x1, x2, x3, xn taken two at a time sn is product of all these values so from here we can write formula for 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y plus 10 inverse z and it will be 10 inverse now what is s1? s1 is sum of all the values so it will be x plus y plus z minus s3 s3 is product of all three and then 1 minus s2 s2 is taken two at a time so it will be xy plus yz plus zx and then there will be no s4 so that is the formula for 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y plus 10 inverse z and it is 10 inverse x plus y plus z minus xyz upon 1 minus xy minus yz minus zx so we'll use this formula if we have three or more expressions now here the question is if x1 x2 x3 and x4 are roots of the equation x to the power 4 minus x cube sine 2 beta plus x square cos 2 beta minus x cos beta minus sine beta equals 0 then we need to find the value of summation i varies from 1 to 4 10 inverse xi now we know that this sum it is equal to 10 inverse s1 minus s3 upon 1 minus s2 plus s4 now it will be 10 inverse now what is s1 s1 is sine 2 beta minus now what's s3 s3 is cos beta so it will be sine 2 beta minus cos beta 1 minus s2 s2 is cos 2 beta and then minus sine beta now we can write sine 2 beta as 2 sine beta cos beta so it will be 10 inverse and we'll take cos beta common so it will be 2 sine beta minus 1 and here 1 minus cos 2 beta will be 2 sine square beta and here also we'll take sine beta common so it will be 2 sine beta minus 1 which will cancel so we'll get this as 10 inverse into cot beta and we can write cot beta as 10 pi by 2 minus beta now 10 inverse and 10 will cancel so this value it is pi by 2 minus beta and that's your option c